And we opened City Square Steakhouse in 2008. You know, I grew up as a chef working in kitchens. I didn't spend a lot of time on the business end and was learning that. And um, I remember uh, talking to my wife, Emily, and saying, man, it seems really slow lately. And she said, well, Mike, you know we're in a recession, right? And I just kind of looked at her and said, what's a recession? I started in uh, the restaurant business at about the age of 14, working at the College of Worcester in their food service, and just really enjoyed the energy of being in the kitchens and, and service times. Um, went on to get a job working for Ty Moore and Anita Moore at uh, Miami, the Little Miami restaurant, which is, uh, is not there anymore at the bottom of Bell Avenue. Went on to just continue working in kitchens and kind of worked my way up to becoming a sous chef, a really great chef in Cleveland. Uh, from there, I had the opportunity to do some internships in D.C. and then eventually to Paris. I met my now wife, Emily, who is in business here in Worcester, and we decided that we were going to uh, give a go of opening our own restaurant, which was South Market Bistro back in 2002. And uh, it was a group of regulars at the South Market Bistro who really encouraged me to consider doing something else. Germania Hall was under renovation. And as I talked to these regulars at the Bistro who would go on to become investors, um, we talked a lot about, you know, what does Worcester need and, and what, would, what would really thrive in the downtown. And we set our sights on doing a, a steakhouse that was not a, a high-end steakhouse necessarily, but something that would fit in our town. Um, and, and then we went on to open City Square Steakhouse in 2008. We talk about big city dining, small town charm. So when guests come in to City Square Steakhouse, they're gonna have a memorable experience just from the look and the feel of this beautiful old uh, historic building. And uh, I think we spent a lot of time thinking about the design, the layout, the finishes in the restaurant uh, to give our guests a really unique experience. And then we have a, a really strong partnership with Certified Angus Beef, and we're very proud of that partnership. So I think compared to a lot of other steakhouses, we really like to leverage uh, that partnership. You know, we've become um, somewhat famous over time for our butter cake, which is something that we spend a lot of time talking about how we can continue to focus on an important aspect of so many of our guests visit to City Square that they want to end their, end their meal experience with a butter cake, especially for any kind of celebratory event. We are extremely fortunate in Worcester to have uh, the economy and the support from the local community that we have. For me, I really wanted to be part of the downtown. I really wanted to follow my wife Emily into business and she was located in downtown Worcester and uh, the community has supported us and so many other businesses in our downtown. I've talked to plenty of friends from bigger cities that come to Worcester and just are blown away by the, the quality and the, uh, and the different selections of restaurants um, in, in a town our size. It's really remarkable. Receiving this Small Business of the Year award is a, is a great honor. Uh, I've watched so many businesses that I admire in our community get these awards over the years and um, it makes me really proud and I think it's a really great testament to our team that works so hard every day um, to, to, to uh, take care of our guests and so I'm just very proud for all of them uh, because I think it's a really great reflection of the work they do every day. Congratulations, the City Square Steakhouse.